while we doing this. Uh, sure. From OTR or coming out of local to go to OTR, mm -hmm. what do you think you're liking about it that you're not local no more? Well, I, I tell you this, even though it wasn't my plan to go back into OTR, this is the smoothest transition I've ha ever had into it, even from when I started, because I, this time coming out, I had some money. I wasn't broken desperate. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that already took a big load off of it. And, you know, as you've talked about before, too, about having your mental together, it's like, you know, I'm in a much better, much better mental space than I was before four in years past when I went on the road where it mm. was, you know, out of desperation and stuff like that. Now I'm just like, I can just live my life and, you know, my my significant other, you know, she I, she's not all in my pockets and bothering me, so I have peace on that end. Mm. Crib is, is empty and free and yeah. nobody fucking with it. Exactly. My overhead is probably the lowest it'll ever be, so I ain't stressed about that. You know, and since the company is local to where I live, I'm always by the house. So I can check on it if I need to. So that part don't stress me out. <laughs> so do you think? So it's like, man. Do you think you're gonna end up uh, jumping back to where you come from, or is the cheap area of where you at give you more peace of mind? I think that for the foreseeable meaning like the next year or so mm -hmm. i'll still live where i'm at but in the long term i think i'll end up back down south just because of other plans that are in the works right yeah well, that makes sense man like i said one one thing about it <sighs> the way things look outside man it looks yeah. scary down there bro as far as you know yeah, strike but, shit and, we, and all that right and we you know we talked about that as far as where you know potential areas to look at we won't definitely won't be in the city it'll be somewhere way out on the outskirts but like you know close enough for both of our uh employment situations you see that he's up there movement mm -hmm. yeah i agree man you know you just gotta I mean, people think I'd be hating on, um, hating on local. I just think that a, I don't think it's for everybody. I don't think it's the end all be all and B it's a lot of bullshit, bro. I, I agree. If that's, if you're built for that, then that's good. But, and, and having, having done it many times over, I've, I've finally come to accept. I ain't built for that, man. I'm meant to be on the road. I done said it a million times, bro, and got beat up. I may I may take breaks from it, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I am a road runner, bro. That's what I do. This is the happiest I have been. I can't even remember I was this happy with my job. Like, man, I'm out here just whistling in the breeze. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you just wake right. up and just drive. That's it. I don't got to think about it. There you go. Like the way that I, the way that I look at it now, the only days, the only days I'm really working is pick up and drop off days. Running days, I'm chilling. Yeah, them run. You know, full drive day. I be trying to tell people, you just picking where you're gonna eat. Like, yeah, I'm like, I'm talking to my trucking buddies. I'm playing my favorite songs. I got my subwoofers in here, so I'm knocking everything over with the bass. Like, I'm just having a blast out here. <laughs> <laughs> I pull up to the fuel island, booming, boy. I be woo. So, I mean, you fought against me. You hated me because what I was saying in the beginning, bro. You hated me, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. How but, you, you know, over that's, saying. I tell you, that's, that's just growth and maturity. I didn't understand. <laughs> but that's also because I was focused on the wrong stuff, to be honest. Focus on the wrong stuff. I mean, yeah. that sack of Joel. Uh, uh, it'll do it to you every time, boy. Hold on, hold on. you hear that? It's up this way. Let's do it. 
Yeah, it's that damn Sacagawea, man. You gotta chill out. Between that and, you know, trying to please folks and make everybody happy and, nah. you know, different things of that nature. And it's like, no, I'm going to just, I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> that's, that's all you see it. That's all you should be doing, bro. Do what you want to do, man. That's all you should be doing. That's like one thing about trucking. It's too much sacrifice not to be doing what you want to do. And I, I man, think, yeah. I used to think these OTR dudes were stuck out here. The truth is, home is whack, bro. That's the truth. Yeah. It's even more so whack. Especially if like so expensive. Yeah, especially it's like if you ain't got no, got no kids to worry about or nothing like that, man. It's like just go outside and be free. He's down. Yeah, you just out there just free in the breeze, bro. Oh, I ain't Man, gonna lie, yeah. bro. This regional show really jealous, bro. I'm like, this nigga live having too much fun, bro. <laughs> the, talk about Happy. talk about the uh because you know you yeah. live in a very quarantine space. What does oh, the yeah. food taste like now that you don't went back down? Oh man, listen, I'm being reminded of places that I just have just been so removed from my palate for so long. Boy, I saw, I seen a Cracker Barrel sign and I about cried, boy. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah, that Cracker Barrel be hitting. Too, oh, man. I got I got emotional about them biscuits. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you, it was oh man, I had myself with the young folks say I had me a big back day, boy. I ordered everything I could. Give me the casserole tater tots. Give me the bacon. Give me the sausage. Give me the eggs. Give me all of it. All right, I see where he is. You now, did, I ain't you gonna didn't lie. hit the like that every day, but I ain't made it that far south yet, but I will. Oh, <laughs> man, you slipping, bro. Because you know there's and one they, in Denver, bro. There's one in Denver. Oh, yeah. They've been running me in that in that great west, man, but I'm going to definitely hit it when I get in the area for sure. Yeah, because I was thinking from what you've been telling me, I was like, you sound western 11, bro, to be real. It, it's surprisingly, even though we don't touch the lower west, it's been a lot of west. Like, I've been bouncing out of Washington, Utah, you know, Stay in that Colorado, room, stay in that room, stay in that room. Got movement. Stay in that room, cuddled up. Oh, shit, he flashed me. You see him in there? Got movement. Should be another one in there. That's how we back though, baby. But no, I, I feel like that's a that's a beautiful thing. Just knowing what you want to do, knowing where you want to be at, and people man, try to make yeah. it. Oh man, I want to be home. It's like, man, you really, you really sound. It's good if you like it, because we have friends that like it, and I don't want to yeah. take nothing from what they doing. That's another thing with age is just because I like this oh, doesn't mean what you doing is wrong. And two, especially, you know, now that I'm a little seasoned, it's like you lose that, that machismo that you have when you first start, you know, right. the, I got to be the man. I'm the super trucker. I nah, got to move the biggest, the baddest, the heaviest, the most dangerous. I'm, I'm past all of that, bro. Yeah, just 62 miles yeah, an hour. Leave me alone. There you man, go. Fiona. Yeah. 62 hours. Leave me alone, bro. That's you, it. You going on your 10th year, Anna. How, how, oh yeah, uh, I got I got I got eight years in. Yeah, and the truth is that port gonna hurt local more than anything. And this dude was like, oh, at, nah, at I, first, I, yes, at yeah. first, but it's gonna it's gonna trickle over to us too. But the truth is, when you are a national company, especially your particular company, because oh yeah, you're getting yeah. something out of the uh, that corridor up there. We won't say the name. But, yeah, uh, you're not real. You don't. You ain't never in no water anyway. But the truth true, is, very true. so you will be feeding off of Canadian ports more than you do in uh, Americans. And for the fact too that you know most of our work is direct anyway. So it's like, as long as our, as long as our cop customers are up and operating, which I don't foresee them not, you know, not doing their thing, mm -hmm. we'll be fine. 
And something that they made a point to say with the, the company I deal with on day one, it was like, look, where a lot of companies, you know, went sour and had to cut rates and all of that, it's like, we've never laid anybody off, we've never cut anybody's pay rate. Is at the most we may not buy some trucks this year, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, talk about actual actual budgeting, you know, like not just oh, man, financing yeah. themselves to death. I just don't understand why Absolutely. Do that. All right, let's go. We got a hundred like, we can get. They showed us, you know, how this this particular carrier, like, yeah, they they buy in bulk, but you know, they don't do the finance thing, or they don't do the, you know, the the mega lease thing where they're kicking the cost to you. It's like they buy their trucks cash, and like they said, if it don't make sense, they'll hold them for another year or two. That's so dope. That's so dope. Ultra loft gang all day. We gotta get. Oh man, yeah. You know, I'm be real. I got the, I'm officially yeah. anti Volvo, bro. I'm over it. Man. I've had too many problems with them. <laughs> I've had too yeah, many Volvo didn't. They just slipped, man. I don't know what happened. Like I ain't gonna lie, I was, you know, I used to be like, oh, I want a, I want a hood, I want a long hood. No, bro, this, this five seven nine is that thing, boy. Where is the? the oh, let me, let me, let me. Here's a bounty contract. It's under us. Yeah, this this condo unit I got, boy. Oh, you in there stretching that, huh? Man, yeah, and I took the passenger seat out, boy. I got so much room. I feel like I drive an RV, boy. Uh, oh yeah, that that seat delete, that trucking seat delete is something else. Man, bro. yeah, it's something else, man. People don't know you really feel spacious in there, bro. And here's something else too. I used to feel indifferent about it, but now <laughs> it's mandatory. The truck must have an APU. Oh it yeah, it must. Yeah, that's not even a. That's I'm not, not even an option. It. I'm not leaving without it. And if it breaks down, your load's not getting dropped off till it's fixed. Oh, you best it. know it. <laughs> because that's one of the worst places you can be when you're when you're issued an APU, but it breaks down because the truck is still set up like it has one, so it should be cutting off. Oh yeah, man, oh, yeah. Where's that? Because ours. Right. If it if it ain't a certain temperature outside, it cut off. Yeah. So I mean, I'm just happy to see you doing something. That means that's why I told you it was like, bro, I've never wanted a hazmat, bro. I've never wanted a hazmat. I've always just yeah. been cool with regular trucking, and I know dudes is like, oh man, well, you know, you're not being the best. I was like, man, they sell that shit to us, bro, making us do yeah. extra shit. So we try to be I mean, this and that. It's like. That shit is not fun. Bro. Yeah. I'll say here it's an advantage to have it here, but it's not like it's not like you live and breathe by it. You're, most of the stuff we do don't even need it in any remote fashion. It right. just helps for to be like those in betweens to be like we got it. That's him. He running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like that little, you know, that little extra few cent bump helps. I like to have it when, when those opportunities come up, but it's not like that's my bread and butter. Right. The really bread and butter is running tight. That's what ends up being. Oh, yeah. You know, the Absolutely. You seeing this guy? Yeah, he's in the window on second floor. I can't shoot through the window. Right, he's up here. The enemy is attempting to exfil. Move to intercept. Watch yourself. Oh, he got me. Ah, <laughs> oh, he precisioned me, boy. He's a certified hater. Yeah, bitch. Ah, uh -huh. oh, more than one. <laughs> Shit. Oh no. <laughs> it's more than one. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Extra. But yeah, man, I tell you. Nah, bro. I get it, man. I get it. I get that. Just like. I don't know. I may do more of these game interviews, bro. Like, because you don't know. Truckers really be stepping out here. So you got your game set up in the truck. Oh, yeah, man. I got that's why I like this this particular sleeper. I got enough room to fit me a 43 inch in here. I got my PS5 hooked up. I got my own Wi-Fi. I got my MacBook with me. Man, oh, you set up, set up. Living the dream. <laughs> I got my Apple TV, you know. Uh huh. <laughs> Man, you I figured out how to uh, how to stream my stuff from the house, so I got my own movie collection with me. 
freaking hotel room on wheel. The biddies can come man, straight to the yeah. truck, man. Listen, I got my LEDs in here now. I got me a mattress <laughs> topper, boy. I'm set. Turn off the lights. <laughs> man, yeah. And light a candle. Oh, hold on. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a joint in here. We can get that. Tell us for everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm happy you like it, bro, because I was like, you, you was dying on that uh that hazmat hill, bro. And I was like, man, that shit don't look enjoyable, though. <laughs> it does not look Think enjoyable. about it. It's like while it can be done it's kind of just one of them things where it's like it's not for everybody no it isn't you killed that dude yeah i did <laughs> yeah i mean i feel like it's more power to the people that's doing it you know mm -hmm. i ain't no hater bro that's one thing i can say about my old age but man that's great that you're doing it and everything but i'm just not yeah, I'm just, I just not that guy bro Right, I used to be that guy, but I've I've lost my my luster for it. So it's a lot yeah. of extra effort. It's a lot of yeah, extra effort, bro. When you could just chill, man, and live cheap. Oh yeah, yeah uh, exactly. Know, I know. I would. I'd be thinking about downsizing. Like, yo, I'm about to downsize. You know. I ain't mad at it. You know. That's Shoot, how matter of fact, when I uh when I take my next home time, I'm actually uh going on vacation. Going on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, you ain't been working down. long enough to go on no vacation, nigga. Well, like I said, by the time I take off, I will. Oh, true. I'll be true. running. I'll be running to the end of the month. Hmm. Let me guess. Down south. Oh yeah. That hot sack of juicy. Yeah, no. go to a, go to a nice jazz concert, go to New Orleans for a quick little minute, then back to work. <laughs> oh, so you taking your vacation solo then? Oh yeah. You thugging, bro? You living the dream, bro? <laughs> living the dream. You hear me? Doing whatever you want to do. You got money in your pocket. That's hey, crazy. Yeah. I remember the fast, man. That truck will blow your ass up. Oh, that's some real shit. That's a fact. It will blow you. I don't up. know. I definitely, I definitely be doing my my Walmart shopping every chance I get. I do not be eating no truck stop food. <laughs> if I eat out, I limit it to once a week. Mm. That's smart, bro. That's smart. I got my bread, I got my lunch meat, got my cheese, you know. I keep my fruit snacks with me. You know, fruit cups. You gotta have fruit Got snacks. plenty of water, boy. I got so much water, boy, I be in here killing it. Yeah, you just gotta fuck, you gotta free. At this point, I am old enough to just stop and pee. I'm not even tripping on that no more. Oh, that's another thing, too, man. I Listen, as, as this age is getting on me, I take more breaks than I ever have. <laughs> oh, yeah. Once you got your time clock right and you know what you're doing, man. Oh, yeah. Take your time, bro. 62 miles an hour. Up, oh, you got to pee. Pull over. Use the restroom. Man, you know, yeah. Rest area to rest area is how we do it. That's and, a fact. Uh, that's it, bro. Do what's good for you. You know, try to get your 5,000 yeah. steps. I'm trying to tell fools, get a oh, Fitbit, yeah. man. Get your 5,000 steps in. Yeah. You know, try it to keep not blood a joke about that. It is not a joke about that health, man, I tell you. It's not. But I, like, what you learn is, that other shit you doing, rolling barrels, man, that shit will kill your head, bro. You doing that shit. Your back you ain't lying. Total shit. Matter of fact, my last day, I dropped a barrel on my pinky. It's still jacked up <laughs> damn bro hold on, hold on. yeah man hello one second one second